today. From Nothing on the scoreboard. 0-0 zero, zero as the offense gets ready to take over the football. one across the 30-yard line. And Derrick Henry with the ball in his hands. What a sight to behold because power and speed involved in every touch for him. Coming off another spectacular season with the Titans, he became the first since LaDainian Tomlinson in 2006 and 2007 to win two straight rushing titles. And he did it with style, too. Just the eighth man to top 2,000 yards and the first since Adrian Peterson in 2012. He has his sights set on another 2,000-yard season. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power, we saw finesse, we saw speed, and what I love the most, he finished each and every run. And he's gonna get it down to the 33-yard line here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw, it's Kaepernick. First down and much more here for Jones. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. Into the red zone now. Kaepernick. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry. We drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7 0. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Kaepernick now on first down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. On second down, here's Henry. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. On third down, Henry. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole. Open man, Julio, touchdown, Tennessee. Julio Jones, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Titans lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Heck of a start to hit. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. 
And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. On first and 10, here's Camperton. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Working with a second and three. On play action, it's Kaepernick. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Play action, now Kaepernick. He's got a man, it's his fullback. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it a second down. Here's Kaepernick to throw. And it's a Titans touchdown! Julio Jones with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the... The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. This will be caught once again by Brown. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down, Kaepernick. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second and a yard. From midfield, here's Kaepernick. Got this complete to Racy McMath. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 39. Kaepernick to throw again. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Daryl Taylor in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Still 15 yards to go, second down. To throw is Kaepernick. It's complete to Brown, right side. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Shot before half for Kaepernick. Towards the end zone for Brown. That'll be caught by Brown. Touchdown, Tennessee. A.J. Brown as time ex The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. 
remember the Titans lost John New Smith, their number one tight end the last few years, when he signed with New England in free agency. So that might open up a few more looks for Ferkser. And he makes a smooth catch there. Henry on first down, not finding much running room as he pushes forward for a yard or two at most. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. Got a man, it's Brown. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. That's caught by McMath. And yeah, the Titans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion. And now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. Hill. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derek Hill. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. They fake the give. Now Kaepernick. He dumps it off for Henry. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be second and ten. Here's Kaepernick. This will be caught by Brown. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Back now in Seattle, Washington. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Henry again. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Kaepernick going to throw. Oh, it's complete. A diving grab there by Brown. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Antonio Brown, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Titans are looking to make it two straight. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. They find some open field here. 20. Take this one home. It's a touchdown. So now we're in the 
final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Oh, Kaepernick's going to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. He's got his tight end over the middle. That's Berkser. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here we go. Here we go. To throw, Kaepernick. He finds his man complete. That's Brown. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Again, it's Kaepernick. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. But Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football, and it leads to more completions for them. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And the Titans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And the Seahawks are right back in this football game. A few things better than a big man intercept. Of explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow so for the Titans, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.